Are power PCs obsolete in 2016? Let's find out. So I was supposed to spend a week using the G4, but something's come up. I'll explain at the end of the video. I can't spend the week using it. Um, I have my handy dandy cheat sheet here, and I've split this test into six categories. The first one being web browsing, the second one being multimedia, can it play video, can it do Spotify, etc. Uh, the third one being office, the fourth one being gaming, the fifth one being app support, and then my final verdict. So, let's get started with web browsing. Okay, so for web browsing, the only real two options you have that are modern and up to date are either Tim4 Fox or WebKit. I use Tim4 Fox for just about everything. Um, it's a port of Mozilla Firefox and it's really fast. Now as for like YouTube and stuff like that, you know, two or three years ago you couldn't use YouTube. Why? Because of Adobe Flash Player. But now, if I go to my channel, and I'll just pull up the newest video, it does take a minute. I'll, I will give it that. I'll just pull up the newest video at the time, which is not this one. The only thing I really have to do, the only thing that's a bit of a pain, is I have to pause the video and let it load for just a minute. Okay, so I skipped the buffering for your sake, but if you let it buffer all the way to the end. Works perfectly fine. Bit the dust, so it's gonna be a while before he... Other websites like Facebook and Twitter, they load up really fastly. I don't even know if fastly is a word. They load fast. Um, I'm not going to show you the actual Twitter because, or Facebook because I'm not sharing my personal information with you guys, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. Um, I haven't tried streaming news media on here, but I can read news articles, like I'll go to CNN for example. And again, you know, sometimes it gets bogged down and sometimes it does take a minute. But it does work. Like, I mean, I can still read the news. I can still watch YouTube videos. I can still use Facebook and tweet. So for basic web browsing, and I mean, yeah, there's, you know, there's CNN. For basic web browsing, I'm going to give this a pass. I think it's still useful. I think it's still supported. And I think it still really works. The only thing I would like to see as far as web browsing goes is an update to WebKit. Um, I don't know if it'll ever happen. They, they talk about it all the time, but WebKit still allows for a hacked version of Adobe Flash Player to work. So, for example, I can go to iHeartRadio and I can stream the radio. Um, but things like Spotify Web Player says that my browser's out of date, so I can't use Spotify. So I really wish WebKit could be updated, but that's the only problem I have with it. Okay, so as far as multimedia playback goes, I've already showed you that YouTube videos will play. It's just a little bit of a pain to get them to play. Um, the Spotify app still works, and in fact, I've got a royalty-free song here for you. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, it still works perfectly. Um, although it does say it won't be supported, but then again, it said that back in December. 
So the last version of iTunes used was iTunes 11. Um, one cool thing that it actually has is the old iTunes radio that still works. Um, let me try to load something here just for a couple seconds because I don't want to get sued. You are listening to a radionomy station. Radionomy station. How cool was that? Like, it still plays. As far as video playback goes, um, the only thing that I can think of that's still modern to this day is VLC Media Player. Now, I keep all of my digital downloads on a flash drive, and VLC plays anything I can throw at it. You just open it up, give it a second to process the file, and there you go. And that's all I'm playing just for the sake of getting sued. I mean, you, you can full screen it if you want to. But the fact that VLC still works and the fact that it still interprets like brand new video tells me that this would make an incredible media machine. Okay, so if you want Office, you have three basic choices. Open Office, LibreOffice, or what I have, which is Microsoft Office. Now, Microsoft Office, the last version that came out was 2008, but as you can see, it's still useful. However, I did discover something. If you need the absolute bleeding edge brand new Office, then all you have to do is launch 10.4 Fox. I think I've discussed this before, but it doesn't hurt to show it again. You launch up 10.4 Fox, you type in what you need, rather it being Word Online, PowerPoint Online, Excel Online, whatever. I'm going to type in Word Online. You click it. You log in. Give me a second to log in. It's a little bit of a workaround. But this is the brand new office. It takes a few seconds to load. And thanks to the beautiful power of HTML5, you have a brand new version of Office on an 11-year-old power PC that works really, really well. There is a little bit of lag, but you know, you'll get used to it, trust me. I personally think that this is amazing that you can use this. And, you know, I've typed several documents on it already. But, as for Office, PowerPC is getting a pass. Gaming is complicated. And the reason gaming is complicated is because all of the games that came out for PowerPC weren't that great. Um, Halo, for example, had no 3D rendering. StarCraft was extremely slow and things like that. But you can play emulators and I'm going to show you how to do that. I use emulators all the time. Um, my favorite one is NES Topia because I'm a huge, huge, like, diehard Super Mario Brothers fan. And all I gotta do is open it and I'm off to the races. And as you can see, I mean it it works pretty well. I think I think this is a sped up version, but that's the ROM, that's not the emulator. And if I really wanted to, I could slow it down. Please don't attribute this to my actual gaming skills. I'm playing on a 5-inch iPhone screen. That's what I'm looking through right now. But as you can see, I mean, you know, it works. Because you can do all of that, I'm going to leave gaming up in the air. Um, 
it, it really is up to you on, on what you think as far as gaming goes. I would give it a thumbs up, but not everyone's into games from 1985. Now, as you can see, these are brand new icons. Um, if you want to see how to do that, check my channel out and I'll show you how to do it. But these are not new apps. As far as app support goes, there's nothing that's supported anymore. Um, that version of Final Cut, I thought I had it set up, but I don't. That version of Final Cut's Final Cut Express 7, and it came out in 2012. This version of Spotify was last updated in 2014. VLC Media Player hasn't been updated in forever. Um, iTunes is at version 11. Like I said, um, the only thing that's really supported these days is Tim4 Fox, and that's I, I got an update for it yesterday. But as far as app support goes, I'm giving this a fail for obvious reasons. So, is the PowerPC supported? I would say yes, as far as June 9th, 2016, which is the recording date of this video. You still have access to a perfectly good web browser. You still have access to a bunch of music streaming capabilities. You still have access to the newest Office if you want it. Um, you still have access to a great multimedia file server if you want to use it as that. And you can play a bunch of old games on it. I mean you know, you could use it as a secondary laptop. However, I would not recommend using this as a primary machine. Now, I'm not saying go ahead and use a PowerPC for your main device. My main device is a Core 2 Duo iMac from 2009 that has 4 gigs of RAM and is running El Capitan. Okay, so why couldn't I use this PowerPC for a week? Well, I am launching a new channel Monday with my friend Matt called Sparked Tech. What we're going to do is we're going to record podcasts. We're going to eventually do some reviews. I might merge a couple of my how-to guides over to there. We're, we're just going to talk about tech. Um, the WWDC conference is Monday, and that's going to be our first podcast. So I'm going to put the link probably somewhere right here and in the description. Click it. Subscribe. Again, our first video will be Monday. I can't wait. I'm super excited for this. I hope you guys are too. This is Adam. Take it easy.